In this video, we are going to look at group policy preferences and how attackers can take advantage of these to gain privileged, elevated access to your environment with no rights required. Um, the concept here is based off of a more legacy feature of Active Directory that allows you to use preferences within group policy to specify passwords that get pushed out to all of your domain member servers. Um, and one of those passwords commonly used is the administrator password. So you can see here, I'm on my 2008 domain. And if I come to the group policy settings, I see under preferences, local users and groups. And that allows me to do things like set a policy preference to update the built-in administrator account. And I can type in whatever password I want. So I can type in top secret password. And now, whatever group policies, uh, whatever systems are tied to this group policy, that password will get pushed down and become the password of the local administrator account, which has full admin rights on that system. If an attacker were to find out this password policy and know that password, they could have elevated access to all of my systems. Microsoft stores this information inside of Sysfall, and it is encrypted with AES encryption. However, they at one point published the encryption key and now it's possible to decrypt all of these passwords. Uh, Microsoft has moved away from this and it's considered a legacy feature and not recommended for use. But if you have these in existence, they can still work and be very easily decrypted. To demonstrate that, I will show you how the get GPP password uh, command works within PowerSploit. And this goes to Sysfall and looks through all of your group policy preference XML files for the C password field. And you can see top secret password, it found it for the administrator account built in. And you can then figure out what computers are linked to this group policy. And now you have full admin rights to all of those systems. So this is something that you should scan your environment for right away to make sure you no longer use group policy preferences for this. There's other ways to accomplish the same goals, which you can read about more on the attack site. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com attack.